you are going to love this. You will like it. If you are a math teacher or a science teacher, you will enjoy this website. It is free. You can sign in and that's it. You can use it for physics, mathematics, chemistry, and biology. If you are interested, follow me on this video. I am Dr. Marrero from Math Topics. Basically, the website is about interactive simulations for science and mathematics. The website is from the University of Colorado. And this is the uh, website, uh, Interactive Simulations. And I'm going to leave in the description below the address, the website address for you to visit. So you go to that website, Interactive Simulations for Science and Math, and that's it. You have a lot of simulation here for physics, for chemistry, for mathematics, for science, for biology, is amazing, totally amazing. So it's totally free. You, if you sign in with your Google account or any email account, you have access to the materials, to the resources, not only for the simulations. I'm going to start with, I don't know, mathematics. Uh, look at in mathematics what we have here. We have uh, beautiful um, simulations about statistics. Uh, we have the Kepler's law. We have quadrilaterals. We have the calculus grapher, the number compare, the number play, uh, the Fourier's making waves, the number line distance, it's amazing. I'm going to pick one from the mathematics and you will see how, how it works. Let's see it. I pick here one simulation that I love. It's uh, introduction to functions. This is wonderful. And I have used it in my classes and the students, they love it. Uh, the function definition, I don't want to go over the function definition. This is not the purpose of the video. It's a machine, and the student, we usually try to uh, deliver this idea. It's a machine, and we have uh, some values that we put in the machine. The machine um, it will perform some mathematics operations, and then we get the uh, output value. And with that way, we can introduce the definition of function. And also we can use uh, for domain and range, for input and output, independent, dependent. This is the simulation. And this is beautiful. So because you can play right down, down here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a linear function, y equal mx plus b. And let's say that I want to add 1 to my function, so my function machine. And... I want to use a multiplication, but a multiplication by two or by negative three or it's, it's, it's up to you. I'm going to use multiplication by two. So look at my input values right here. Okay, zero, one, two, and three, very simple. And I think they have four, five, six, and the X, that's the input. And we have the output empty because this is the dependent uh, uh, set of the dependent variable and the students can see what the machine will be doing so you pick one number let's say i'm gonna pick uh zero i'm gonna put it in the machine and you can ask the student hey what's gonna happen so you're gonna multiply two times uh zero plus one so the answer will be look at this beautiful simulation is one because two times zero plus one is one but look at now you're going to love this. If you click right there, you have the table of values. So you pick one. That's the X. The machine does the math, the magic, and the output is three right here. And you can do it with any number. And at the same time, they can see the function. And at the same time, they can see the table of values. But look at this. You're going to love it. The graph. It's not that beautiful. It's beautiful. 
So you have the table, you have the graph, but this is not everything. I want you to click down here. You have the equation of the line or the function. Y equal 2 times X plus 1. It's not beautiful. It is beautiful. So this is free and you can use it in your classroom or you can use it for your own enjoyment and another perspective to see important mathematics uh, ideas, concepts, definitions, the abstraction, the visualization of the abstraction. This is one of the simulations. I forget to tell you that they have, um, you can donate for this program in order to be free. So it's up to you. You can use it, but you can make a donation, one dollar, to help these people that they do a wonderful, wonderful job to, exp uh, to spread uh, knowledge, science knowledge. We have more simulations in different uh, subjects. Uh, I'm going to show you one more about science. Let's see it. This is amazing. This is for science. I am not a science teacher. I'm not a physics teacher. Uh, this one is called my solar system. So we have here two objects. And we have on this side here, center of mass, a speed, velocity, gravity. Look at this. Just playing with this. It's amazing, eh? It's the orbit. If I click here, gravity, which is another vector, the students can understand what happened with the gravity. It's the attraction between the two objects, no? But if you want to see the speed, which is an actual value here, it's amazing really amazing if you want to put it on the coordinate system you click grid you can transform this zoom in this in and out you have other combinations here so this is the sun and the planet look at on this side here you have the sun and the planet, the sun and the, the planet and the moon, uh, the Troy and asteroids, the ellipses, the hyperbolic. Oh my God, it's a lot. Let's see the sun and the planet. Uh, let me see the sun, the planet and the moon. And let's start the simulation, look. Let's put the gravity. Look at the gravity facing each other. You can teach physics with this. And look at the beauty of that simulation. The beauty, some force vectors are too small to display. But look at the vector. And look at the years here. And the speed. And the grid. This is really beautiful for science teachers, for math teachers, for biology teachers, chemistry teachers. And I just invite you to uh, go and explore and try to plan classes and lessons uh, to, for your students. I also uh, forget to tell you that it's an app and you can have it in your phone. Uh, you can see it right here on top of me. Share. Many teachers would like to, to know this if they don't know it. And I see you in the next video. Thank you for watching Math Topics.